Hello and welcome to today's video in high altitude investing. Today is going to be an altcoin and Bitcoin price overview and it is December 25th so for those who uh, celebrate Christmas uh, Merry Christmas and yeah we'll, we'll get right into this so let me just go over to Poloniex here all right so the first coin I'm going to be looking at is Ethereum Classic. So let's go back a little ways, back to that bottom that it hit. I talked about in my last overview. So after this bottom, we've seen a nice uptrend and then it double topped right here. And it came down and it hit its 38%, which I talk about a lot, a lot of times in breakout patterns after it hits a bottom you'll see it make a nice run up um, to test its first resistance and then it likes to come find support at that 38 so you know that's that's a pretty important fib level and it looks like it just found support at 38 here on December 23rd so I see this uptrend continuing let me go ahead and sign in actually sign into our high altitude account here okay awesome now that we're signed in we can see our balances of these different coins um, we have 22 ethereum classic in this account and I don't remember exactly where I bought this so we can look by going down to the bottom so whatever coin that you're looked on uh, whatever coin <laughs> whatever coin that you're looking at you can go down and you can see the market trades or you can see the trades that you have made on this account so it looks like we did some buys at on the 14th and we our average buy price is around 1.23 Bitcoin per ETC so that means that right now at 121 we are at a small loss in this coin but I see enough potential in it that I'm not concerned if it breaks below this 38 I would be concerned and I would probably sell out because it's always good to excuse me cut your losses quickly so that you don't have to you know ride it as it falls down you want to ride it as it goes up so yeah but right now I'm definitely holding this coin if I had some extra Bitcoin on me I would probably buy more because it looks really nice to me so and especially with ETH dropping off so hard it's been seeing a major dump in the past few months and you know I kind of predicted this I talked about this in my last videos and I think that they will meet what's called a parity so that's when two coins hit the same value and are exchanged one for one so I think that there'll be a point where if you want an ETH coin you can use one of your ETC and if you want an ETC you can use one of your ETH so that's you know that's what I'm seeing down the road and because of that I think it will shave off a lot of ETH's value inside of ETC I don't think that um, I still think they're both gonna be less you know together combined less than ten dollars for a little while but that's what I see happening so that's my current thoughts on Ethereum Classic and my current thoughts on Ethereum Core is obviously that it continues breaking low um, I see it breaking below this point I've been putting shorts when it hits highs and making nice profits on its way down but I really feel like it's gonna have to come down and test some of the, you know some some pretty low points here like I wouldn't be surprised if we see a 
0.003, you know, that would be that would be its first major support level below what it's already went below, right here, and I I would not be surprised if it goes down to that 0.3 or 0.4 area. So, but in the meantime, I think the ETC will be saying, oh hey, you know. I'm coming up to that point four area for the first um, time since its peak, and it will see a nice, nice run in value. So that's that's my current thoughts on those two, and they are very correlated, of course, because it's the same technology. One just doesn't, you know, agree with the Dow hard fork, and so, and I don't personally either, and so that's why I like ETC. But I, I feel like just purely from value, you know, in these coins, so that if you want to make money trading them, so if you don't even actually care about the technology behind it, which I do, but, you know, if you're just here to make money, which I understand that completely, then I would still say ETC is a great investment. I think it, you know, my personal views is from the value perspective, it will overrun ETH and meet a parity and then I think it will overrun it. But it's really, you know, it's gonna be, that's the deciding point basically on what chain people stick to. I don't think we're gonna have two chains staying around. I could be wrong, but I don't think that both of them will live. I think we're gonna decide on one chain because it just makes more sense to only be developing one instead of having to be developing two and making two different decisions. You know, the entire community has a harder time finding consensus, which is really important in this type of technology because it's decentralized. And so everybody that uses it has to agree on the rules behind the technology. So that's basically, basically what's going on there and how, how it, you know, proposes issues when we do hard forks and soft forks and all of this stuff if there's two chains because it makes it harder for everybody to just agree on on that which is really important as I said. Now let's take a look at XMR. XMR is one of my favorite coins. Um, I like the the technology behind it. it, has pretty big user base it's had an XMR market on here for a long time, so there's been value potential in trading it against other alts, which is cool. But I still think it's going to come down and find support around this area, probably about 0 0.0076, and then I don't see it going down for a while. I, it will, you know, I personally think this coin is going to make a new all-time high. This run that it had was huge. It was a ginormous run, but I don't think it's done yet. I really feel like this has good potential as a coin and currency. And so because of that, its value will be correlated. It's up 3% today. It's had about 2000 Bitcoin in volume, which isn't what it you know used to be doing, but it's still good volume for this coin. So I'm really looking at this coin to, to find support and when it does, I will be buying in a lot. So, but I really don't see it breaking above this 38% until it really confirms that it doesn't want to go below that support it caught. So that's my current thoughts on Monero or XMR. Uh, now let's look at Litecoin. In my last video I said it was one you could probably short. Um, I don't know if that's going to hold true. I, I believe in my video that I made it was sometime around this area and it did break above that so shorting it wouldn't have been the best idea. But since, since it you know finally found a resistance level here at 0 0.005 Bitcoin, it's kind of started to go down a little bit. And because of this hard pump up, I don't think it's just going to continue hard pumping up. It might do what STR did, or Stellar. 
So let's look at that chart. It's good to find correlations in chart patterns. It can really help your trading. It could do what Stellar did, which is, you know, found a bottom, made that gnarly, you know, bar up that we see in Litecoin, kind of came down, played around in this area, and then did the same thing again, but actually didn't break above that level. So we could see that type of pattern form, but I don't see the same, you know, I don't see the same key features. In that other pattern we saw kind of a head and shoulder. It had a top right here, came down, had a top right here and came down. In this one, it's just kind of more holding support along its way up here, which is a good thing. Um, you know, if you, if you went long back here, but I still don't see it. I still don't see it just breaking above this until it tests some support. So long term, I think Litecoin, Litecoin could have some good value. It's it's uh, approaching a soft fork, according to my understanding, and you know it's one that's kind of been long forgotten, but it's actually had pretty significant value in the past. I don't remember exactly what its peak in U.S. dollars was, but it was somewhere around thirty dollars. So it's actually seen a you know good support and good good value in the past, and that's both good things to see. It's also really old. It's pretty, you know, relatively old for a cryptocurrency. Um, I believe it started around 2013. We can look on Wikipedia. Oh no, it's 2011 actually. Yeah. It came around this, you know, the same time that Bitcoin was blowing everybody's minds with value. So, yeah, um, Litecoin is definitely one to keep your eye on, though, long term. Short term, I still think it's going to come test support a little longer. <clears throat> now, and by the way, it's down 2.3%. Now let's take a look at Factum. Factum has been showing pretty significant downtrend since this double top formation back in December 20th. Am I concerned for its value? Do I think it's going to keep going down? No. I really feel like this coin is one that hasn't even hit its all-time high yet. It's hit some pretty nice highs, but it hasn't reached its all-time high. And by all-time high, I mean like all-time high for the, you know, a couple years because obviously I can't predict what its all-time high in the future is going to be forever. That that's that's a pretty hard one. That's a lot to ask. But for now, from what I can see, I feel like this coin will break above its previous high, making a new all-time high. So that's what I that's what I see happening long term in this coin. And by long term I mean in the next you know six months. So about half a year. But this this right here is pretty good, you know, coming down to this 23 breaking below this 38 today, but not showing tons of down, down support yet, or downtrend yet. I don't see it. From what I'm seeing in these candlesticks, first of all, this is a really important trading signal right here, where it breaks up like this and comes down. Oh, sorry about that. I'll take a quicker zoom into this trading signal here. Now this is one of the trading signals I've seen in Bitcoin before it broke $500, excuse me. So before Bitcoin broke $500, which was its previous all-time high, um, I saw this chart pattern and from you know reading and all of the, the chart patterns that I've seen over the internet and 
pictures and stock trading and stuff, I know exactly what this chart pattern means. This is a really good pattern to see. This is like, um, it's just basically a big square, you see. Uh, it breaks up really, really hard. And in this case, it went from 0 0.003, clear up to 0 0.0039. So we almost saw a 0 0.001 increase in Bitcoin in that one candlestick alone. And then it came down kind of hard and made that same kind of formation. Now, usually after it does this pattern, it comes down and finds its support. So when it makes this pattern, it comes down and says, okay, I need to test support one more time. And we see that happening. Test support here down at 0 0.002 uh, Bitcoin. And we saw a nice run up to break a little high here in the past couple months. So it broke a high in the past couple months and is coming and finding support again at this 23. So I think Factum will continue doing what it's doing for that reason, because of these, these signals I'm seeing. And I will show you what happened in Bitcoin so you can see why I, why I know this is a good trading signal if you know history repeats itself in this coin from what it did in Bitcoin. So, and usually chart patterns do a pretty good job at doing that. So, let's take a look here. Probably go to about six hour candlesticks. Scroll left for a little while. All right. Um, now, take this. Sorry about this. Uh, it's taking me a second to get this right because you have to have the. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Probably go down to four hours so we can get a better look at this pattern here. took that back up to six. Goodness, I can't do this today. <laughs> oh, and that takes it out of the view. Wow, that's gypped. Okay, here we go. Nope, oh, that's 648. I apologize, I'm just trying to find this. All right, here we go. <laughs> Here's the chart pattern I was looking for. Now, I can't seem to get these candlesticks smaller, so I apologize for that. But basically, you can see the same thing happen in Bitcoin. It broke high here and then broke low. And after this point that it did this, we saw, you know, kind of a kind of this run up in value here. It's nice run up to 470. And then we saw the exact same pattern occur again right here, which is kind of fractaling out here. So we saw this pattern happen again, kind of made that square shape. And then it came down and tested support right here. So that's right before, you know, we saw this huge move in Bitcoin where it where it just really blowed a lot of people's minds that it went cl to clear up that high so quickly. But I knew this was happening because of the halving in Bitcoin. So yeah, and, and now we see a continuation here that looks really good still. So, you know, that's, that's just a correlation that I'm seeing in these two coins and what has happened in the past. So that's why I think Factum is going to continue going up. Now let's check out Potcoin. I've got a friend that has about 
$700 worth of this and he's holding it long term. I bet he makes really, really good returns on it. So he's already made good returns. I believe he's bought most of it around here. So when you're putting that much capital into one coin and these coins move really nicely, you're obviously going to make good returns. So this coin is looking nice today. It really is. We've seen, since this bottom right here, we've seen it pump up and then it's kind of downtrends to support and then pump up higher and we see this little downtrend here. But I think that that pattern has stopped. I think that we're going to just see this continue going up um, and break, break high really nicely here because we've seen this pump up, down, pump up, down, pump up, down, you know. So it's been really pumping up and going down to its 23. That's basically exactly what this coin has been doing in the past. Just pumping up, coming down to its 23. Pumping up, coming down to its 23. So, so I feel like it's kind of done doing that. It's done it quite a few times and I would not be surprised if we see a pump up here where it comes down to a higher support level. So that's my current thoughts on pot is, is it's a really good buy. It is up 10% today, which is, you know, kind of a little bit risky to buy a coin up that high, but not if it's gonna keep going up. So this one I feel like will break this 50% level, which is around 2000 Satoshi, just below 2000 Satoshi. And it wouldn't surprise me if it broke this within the next week or two, this, two, this 3000 Satoshi resistance. So definitely one to keep holding if you have it and a good buy today. It's, it's right at that 38% and it broke high right here twice trying to break that 50%. It didn't work, but it also hasn't, you know, broke super low after that. It's shown nice uptrend potential. So I think this is definitely one to hold. It's a good coin, great technology, um, a lot of value potential, super cheap. Look at all this buying that's going on right now too. You can see in this live market, consistent buying of this. So yeah, one to keep your eye on and look at. Um, the other one I was going to talk about today because it's showing a pretty unique move is Novcoin, which is up 20% almost. And I actually sold a lot of my Novcoin right here. So it was a good idea to sell it right here because at that 23%, it still hasn't broke too significantly high. Um, and I bought a lot of my Novcoin way back in the day before this run. So I'm, I wasn't at like a significant, you know, a significant profit loss. I still had some profit here and I sold a lot of it around here, but yeah, I sold it and I don't know if it's going to keep going up here, but it has shown some nice up move today. And honestly, I would not be surprised if it keeps going up. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say that it looks really good as a chart pattern, but it does have pretty good volume. It's up 17% right now, which is a huge move. And I definitely would not put it past this to, to keep swinging up, but I want to see it break above that 50% level really hard because it double topped right here. Now 50% level is 7,000 Satoshi. So if Novcoin does in fact break above that 50%, I will be looking to buy a lot around the 38%, which is about 6,300 Satoshi. And until that happens, I will stay away from this coin for a little while. So yeah, that's what I think about that. Now I had somebody in the comments asking me about game credits. 
and what I thought about it. Now, if you look at game credits, it's basically an uptrend since the beginning here. It's, it's been a really good investment and one that I've talked about because it's shown good up strength and you know, it, you could make a lot of money trading this coin along the way up. So we've seen it as cheap as 152 Satoshi and now it's clear up to, you know, 22,000 Satoshi. So that's huge gains. That's really big gains. If you would have gotten back, you know, gotten into this back in May of last year, you could have made significant profit trading this coin. So in the past, it's shown really strong up strength. Now, what I think it's going to do right now is probably come find support. I don't think it's going to continue on this uptrend. Um, feels like it doesn't really want to break much above this level here around 33,000 Satoshi. So I don't think it's going to break above that level until it says, oh, hey, I'm still a good technology. People still are interested in me, you know, and it bottoms out a little bit here, probably around the 23 percent. And that's when I see a, a nice swing and buy opportunity in this coin. So thank you for my, that comment, by the way. And if you guys want me to do a review on these alts for a specific coin, I can, I can try and fit them in my next video if you comment and ask me. So now there is a lot, so there's no way I can do all of them in one video, but that's, that's something I, I will try to do for you guys as best I can. So yeah, now let's, let's check our, um, AD, AD, ugh, I'm ADHD, ARDR, actually I've never been checked. I'm probably ADHD, who knows? Everybody always says they're ADHD and has no clue. It's so funny to me. All right. So otter now this one looks to me like it made a nice double bottom here and i really see a good good uptrend coming in this coin it's only got 21 bitcoin in volume so it's kind of a sneaky one not a lot of people are watching it so i feel like that's you know a good time to buy in on this coin because a lot of the time when these things bottom out nobody pays attention they start really buying it up when it starts really going up. So, you know, and that's that's okay if that works for you. But I look for these significant bottom formations. And I like to trade them because they've proven to be beneficial in the past. Now, this coin has also shown that pattern. It likes to make that pattern. See, right here, it made a little one, two, three bottom, but it didn't really do anything about it. Kind of broke high a little, but it didn't, you know, it didn't keep that value. Um, and it broke below that right here. Right here looks like a one, two, three bottom. Same with right here. But obviously, it's just this little pattern here where it doesn't want to break above that 23. And then it broke low. And then right here could be another one, two, three bottom. Now, this one could be the one that actually stays and stays true as its new low. So that's, that's kind of my thoughts on this coin, but I would definitely not be buying it if it breaks below this level right here because it has to hard bottom after that. But this could be a bottom in this coin and definitely one to keep your eye on. It's pretty new. Um, yeah, so it could have a pretty nice swing coming its way. Oh, there you go. That's actually the bottom I was looking at. I apologize. I didn't know I hadn't stretched it out all the way. Yeah, this is the bottom I was looking at. So yeah, it's kind of my thoughts on that one. Um, let's look at our top movers. Our top movers is Bit Crystals. 
up 20% or Bitcoin, excuse me, up 20%. This is one that I did a lot of mining. Um, I mined Bitcoin a lot on Minergate on my computer and would just sell it to, to buy other alts with it because most of the time when I was selling it, it was around 10 Satoshi and it's down to six now. So yeah, until this coin until this coin actually kind of bottoms out or shows, you know, has some news or has user base growth, some significant user base growth. I think people are just going to keep mining it and keep dumping it off. So that's kind of what I see in this coin, but it is up 20% today. Now for it to go up 20%, it only has to move one Satoshi. So it's not really it's not really that big of a deal, but it is moving. So now Nav is the next one, and I already talked about that. Um, Cora is up 14%. That's a move in the eight Satoshi range up from seven. That's why that's so high. Uh, IO Digital Currency is up 13%, and this one, I actually haven't gotten a lot of time to trade, um, but I'm looking to see it kind of come to, you know, test support around this 50% level. But it does look nice. It looks like a good chart pattern. It doesn't look like it's really, you know, seen its end in, in increase in value here, its end to its uptrend. This could be a double top. But until it breaks below this, there's no way to tell. So, or no sure way to tell. But if it does break below that 38, then I would not be surprised if it keeps going down. But if it comes and tests this this 38 right here, which was its 50 in the in the longer view, then I would not be surprised if this coin continues what it's doing, which is pretty nice. So yeah, and then. Let's check our top losers today. Losses. That would be MMNXT down 16%. Um, not one I would consider investing in because of the, the NXT and ARDR shift. So that's, that's something to be considering. Um, Noble or N O B L is down 14. Um, just from what I can see, this one this one would probably not be a bad one to put a little bit of Bitcoin in and see where it goes from there. It's down quite a bit, and unless it breaks below this level, it's probably not going to keep going down. So. We've seen these nice spikes up right here. So, yeah, that's definitely one I'm going to personally keep an eye on in the next little while. Uh, XBC is the next one, which is Bitcoin Plus. It's down 9%. Um, I really don't know a lot about this coin. I have traded a little bit, but it is a nice little uptrend here. And it did break below that 23, but this is really where its support is, is around this 0 0.014 Bitcoin area. It is expensive and it is uh, pretty low on volume. So those are things to consider. But this could be a potential bottom here or continuation of a bottom. Now Rick coin or Rye, um, is kind of doing the exact same thing. It looks the same. It's interesting. Um, but it does have a different history. So this is actually an all-time high, or at least a recent low, I mean. Yeah, this is an all-time low for, for Rai. Now, you know what all-time lows mean. All-time lows mean that's usually an excellent time to get in on this coin because if history repeats itself, it doesn't like to spend a lot of time that, in around that area. So 
this could be one that would be a good buy right now. XCN or Crypto Night Exchange is down 8% today. Sorry about my family just got home. So they're probably going to be noisy for a second. But Crypto Night is down 8.5%. So it's down quite hard. And it looks like it could be a, a good investment. Now, I don't know, but I don't think it will break below its all-time low. So, yeah, one to keep your eye on. All right, now Bitcoin and my thoughts on Bitcoin. Let's go to a little bit longer graph here. Um, my thoughts on Bitcoin is that I probably don't see... I don't see it, it breaking above this nine this nine twenty level for a couple of days. Now, I still don't think it's topped all the way out. Um, in my last video, I said that I think it's topping out right here on this area, but I really don't think it's done topping out. This coin to me, or Bitcoin <laughs> to me, um, would have to come up and make another top at this 920 and then go down. So for now, I honestly feel like it just came and tested this this uptrend level, this line I have drawn, and it, it could come up and maybe test the 950 range and top out, D though I do see it topping out pretty soon here and downtrending because I don't think that it will just break its all-time high you know, without without some some downtrend, you know, some support finding along the way. I don't think it will just break its all-time high like that. It's possible. This is you know, a, this is an experiment. Bitcoin is something we haven't seen before in the past. We don't really know what it's gonna do, but that's that's what I think is gonna happen is it will come to right here I have these horizontal lines drawn every time Bitcoin makes a significant um, move that you know makes a significant peak and kind of drops off oh. and according to my thing according to those lines we only have a few days or you know a week or two of uptrend before it finds another spot that it wants to go down and it has it's followed these pretty consistently so you know if it does continue doing what it does horizontally like that then then I think it will go down and find support now let's check out coin market cap because I want to do the all or the all coin volume and stuff like that uh, we have a total market cap of 16,132,901,024 volume is at 24 hour volume is at 183,551,000 um, Bitcoin dominance is still really high at 87.6% and Let's check out the market cap here versus the altcoin and Bitcoin market cap. Bitcoin hasn't shown, um, well, this is the combined, but it looks a lot like Bitcoin's chart pattern, um, except, no, yeah, it looks a lot like Bitcoin's chart pattern here. Now, I'm looking for, for it to kind of top out right here somewhere pretty soon. I don't know exactly where, but I'm looking for this market cap here to kind of top out on Bitcoin specifically and the total market cap might kind of top out because Bitcoin has such a significant dominance that if it loses value, then our total combined market capitalization will will drop off here. Now, our combined altcoin market cap is in my opinion looking really nice. I talked about its double top right here that I saw in one of my videos and after that double top formation that we saw happen uh, wow what happened here come on after this double top it kind of downtrended if 
found some support right here and I see it continuing up here, this altcoin market cap. Our Bitcoin percentage has shown a pretty significant downtrend since 2013 and I feel like that will continue happening. So I appreciate for you guys tuning in today. Um, have a good day and as always, thank you for watching and stay profitable.